Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life, with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Uh, I need a favour. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. <laughs> Didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets are expensive. I promise I will bring it back. Ah, no, look, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over here. Drop it. Smile. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. Fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. <sighs> what about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. 
Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. A couple of weird dreams, and it'll all be over. Jeff, no one's picking up. For Christ's sake! This guy's gonna have to do. Are you serious? Are you gonna go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not gonna see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. So, what's the plan? This is what's gonna happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Look at this one. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're far more worthy causes in the world. What in your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So, for £950,000, this marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... Grand. For its time. Just Thank try to keep it out of the tray. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, First, I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three oh, simply beautiful pieces. remaining examples okay, great. of the red there. phoenix pattern. Simon known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would, please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner 
Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, you can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. I'm looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. Nine, 9-5, five. Nine, five. Nine, five to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking 10 we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. I'm going to have a hard time. 11, it's your bid, man. Yeah, gut feeling. 11, okay, so you know, price we have 11-5. Logarithmic curve, derivative 11-5. So the chances of getting away with another bid, bid at 11, madam. 11-5. Well, Trust me. 11-5. 11 11-5 11-5 I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11-5, it's no your bid. It's against you now, man. It's against you, sir. 11-5. 11-5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11-5 once. 11-5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12-5? 12-5 I'm looking for. 12-5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12-5. 12-5. 12-5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12-5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, man. 12-5. Are we all out? At 12-5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12-5 once. 12-5 twice. So to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. OK, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? OK, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there.
Hello. Don't make this any worse. It's not complicated. Oh shit. A video feed's got. Oh, I fucking hope so. Did you get the code for the gate? Yeah, but my gear's still upstairs. We're gonna leave it. We're out of here. Let's prick with you. Enter three zero nine two two zero. Three zero nine two Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and it turns it into money. Too fucking right. You want to take a left? It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mate. 
Bai Ling. Bai Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, this petrol, look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. to Woos to finish what you started. Mr. Woos? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. A fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. Could they while you're gunning your yet on that gong? A tam. Go on.
What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Asia over here. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, Possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atam, go on, coordinate, Hoi. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Do you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl! This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations and my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. Going to the police, Mailing. You coming with me? You want to take the damn thing to the police on your own? Be my guest.
Oh. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Pass the buck. You know, you might still get killed. Now, let me get this straight. Earlier tonight, you were forced, against your will, to take part in a robbery. And now we're turning the proceeds of said robbery to the authorities. Yeah. And what exactly is it that you were turning? It's a Chinese porcelain bowl. Stay there. I'm under arrest. Not yet. You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. We'll be the judge of that, sir. Like you said. So you claim that you were blackmailed by other members of this gang, all of whom it transpires are now dead, into stealing this antique bowl from the Hamesworth auction house. That about right? Pretty much, yeah. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. It took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. That it has. We went to see this Chinaman who was supposed to have hired them to steal the bowl, but... We? What? You said we went to see a Chinaman. You told me that everyone else had been killed in the van explosion. There was a girl. <laughs> you just surprised me. Where's she at? I don't know. Again, convenient. Now, why don't you tell me why you stole this bowl? And who you stole it for? I've told you. It's for this guy, Mr. Wu. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch. That's all I know about him. The Hong Kong City in Shoreditch High Street? So, so you've heard of him? Tony Wu was found murdered in the back office of his restaurant less than an hour ago. What? And you openly admit having been there tonight. He was alive. When you got there, maybe. How about when you left? Mr. Thompson, are you refusing to answer my questions? He was alive when I left. That is God's honest truth. Either way, it doesn't look good for you, does it? I didn't kill him. Yeah, and I had no choice in the robbery. I I've come in to help. What more do you want me to do? I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? What the fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... A Between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes, I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Oh. 
Matthew Thompson, I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery and on suspicion of the murder of Tony Wu. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Look, when I left that building, Wu was alive. You've got to believe me. Tell it to your son, isn't it? Vehicle 721 in position on City Road. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want you to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. I can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? Clive, you see this? Where is it? I don't know. I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where is the ball? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us, the rightful owners, about what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh, look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Or Disrespect will be punished. Now for the final time, where is the ball you took from the auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original ball that you stole, where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I, I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? A as far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. He got me. I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Ball equals pain. The longer you have ball, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! Fucking hell. No, I haven't got your fucking rice ball, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tell the truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma. 
Game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The, the short one. A quick death. But painful. Dagger does not go in far, but when he's removed, the barbs tear the intestines. Shred them. Death comes within an hour. I thought you said it was quick. Where is the bull? The original bull. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Daiwa. Oh, Where is the original? Do we repeat? I don't know. Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? <laughs> Fuck. She following the strategy. If I get this wrong, the mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? God, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. God, oh, fuck. Every finger and every knuckle continuing, every joint. You will see daylight, but still, it will continue. Where is the original? Christ, that girl's tough. Do I even believe that she's in there? Is she a part of this? Is she a part of the gang and they think that I'm the only one who knows where the original is? Am I just prolonging the inevitable? Fuck. Fuck. Do I trust her? Then I'll see you in the fucking morning, mate. <laughs> Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Go, Joe! The lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. It's decided. You bring us the ball, she stays hostage. If you fail, she dies. <laughs> Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know.
Okay. Pa. I have to make this fucker pay for what he's done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? All right. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. Fuck, I really have no time for this. on stage at it, right before we stole it. Right, how do I find him? Dan from work? I, I heard he was in an accident. Is he alright? Is he at home? No, no, he's not well. He's been taken to the hospital. He had a serious concussion. It's horrible. I, I'm really sorry to hear that. Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's, thank you. I, I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, it's not your fault. I'm sorry though. All right, let's pay this poor guy a visit. 